When she go low, when she go low, she go so low, she go so low. Oh, she know, oh, oh, she know, she got me dirty dancing. Dirty dancing, dirty dancing, dirty dancing. <laughs> she got me by Luca Honey. It was a great song last year, performing in Israel, performing for uh, Switzerland, representing Switzerland, and I hope that uh, they can keep the momentum up and give us a next great song. So, let's see. Okay, so Switzerland. John, I have no idea how to pronounce that name. John's Tears. John's, John. John's, John's Tears. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, let me know how to pronounce it but because I am really confused. And the song title is uh, Respondez-moi. So, answer me, I guess, if my French is, uh, is correct. Um, so, is the song in French? From Switzerland? Why not? Um, yeah, let's, let's see how it's like. And as I, as I said, I really hope that they can keep the momentum up and, and uh, the song is good. But let's see. Rainy days never say goodbye. I love his voice. His voice is seriously great. I love the emotion. And so far it sounds like another ballad. We have quite a few. I'm intrigued. Oh my, I had chills. I had goosebumps. And the song is building, I had goosebumps again. Oh my god. It's... It's a quiet ballad, but... But sometimes... These are the most effective when you want to send a message, send an emotion to your audience. Why, my girl? Did he ask that? My French isn't great, I'm, I'm just started learning it again, but... I mean, if he can pull these vocals off live, that in itself is amazing. Okay, 
So, yeah, we have quite a few ballads this year. It's it's a ballad year. Uh, we have power ballads. We have uh, a little bit more quiet, emotional ballads. This is one of them. And I have to find out what the lyrics are because I didn't understand much. But the song is intriguing to say the least. His voice is perfect. Well, it's it's the studio version, so it better be perfect. But um, wow, wow, wow! Now this is a song that could really grow as well. Because right now it's, I mean, it left an impact on me. I didn't get bored listening to it, but at the same time I can see, like, if I listen to it a couple of times, it could get a bit boring. Uh, but that's just deal with uh, these quiet uh, emotional ballads. Um, but this is definitely. Um, the kind of song that works. Um, about the staging, um, I don't know. It's sometimes it can be really difficult to pull pull the staging off with a song like this. Uh, but Switzerland has done it before. I mean, last year they had a completely different song, completely different genre, but they they staged the shice out of it. So, and Switzerland with a French song, they have more French in their song than, than the French have, <laughs> have themselves. Uh, and it's a little bit less cheesy. It's, okay, it's a lot less cheesy than, than the French song, and I think it's a lot better than the French song. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn. Like, it's definitely going in my top ten. There's no question about it. If, but if we're talking, if this could get to the final. Probably, probably, but I wouldn't call it a like a locked qualifier uh, because the staging really needs to be perfect uh, to send the emotion through, to send the emotion from him to the audience. Uh, if they can do that, then this song could get a really good result. If not, if the staging is, you know, just him maybe standing there and, and singing the song without not much going on, it could work. It has worked in the past. I mean, of course, 20, 2017 Portugal, last year even, even uh, Duncan Lawrence didn't have much going on on the stage, but the song spoke uh, for itself. Um, I wouldn't call it as strong as, as Arcade and it doesn't give me like winner vibes but definitely like a good result is on the cards for Switzerland again this year. Yeah, I, I just have to listen to it a couple of more times uh, to really make sure that I understand how much I like this song <laughs> but thank you very much for watching um, and click like click comment and write something <laughs> preferably nice <laughs> but uh, yeah just give me your opinion uh, what do you think what are the chances uh, for Switzerland this year could it get the top 10 result again let me know um, and I will see you in the next video, which will be the Netherlands itself. 
the host country. So yeah, right after this I'm gonna listen to that song, so that's gonna be really exciting. I hope that they can give us something great again. But that's it for now, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>